comes the big dog. Roman Reigns says he has a spear for anyone who gets in his way. So you know he comes into tonight locked and loaded. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds. Despite his impressive in-ring abilities, many still see Roman Reigns as unproven here in WWE. They think he hasn't taken that next step in his evolution. A main event championship win would go a long way for Reigns in that department. That's something he's determined to make happen as soon as possible. I don't doubt Roman's determination, but winning titles and main events are easier said than done. We all know Roman has the ambition, maybe even the skill but he's got to fight for it like everyone else. One thing is for sure, Roman has no lack of confidence. You can say that again. The whole effing show. And his opponent from Battle Creek, Michigan, Weighing in at 235 pounds, Rob Van Dam. He is, quite simply, the whole effing show. The definition of unorthodox style both in and out of the ring. His martial arts acumen is translated into quite the impressive, memorable sports entertainment career. And we can only hope that RBD is about to make some more memorable moments here tonight. Guys, I know we're all excited when we saw those initials on the card tonight. R.V.D. Rob Van Dam's one of the most exciting superstars to ever step through the ropes. I can rattle off his list of achievements, but anyone who doesn't know what R.V.D. has done has been living under a rock. Anyone who watches R.V.D. is certainly in for a show tonight. The whole damn show! On the other side of the ring, is Roman Reigns. Reigns has grown tired of waiting for opportunities. Instead, he's been blasting the door off the hinges and turning it into wood chips. Reigns is one of the hungriest competitors I've ever seen, Michael. If you want to find yourself in an unenviable position, go ahead and underestimate Reigns. He turns it around. Reversal, can they go on the attack? Just like that, Roman gets stopped. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Powerbomb! That was a powerbomb with one message in mind. Absolute destruction. Bad predicament right here. Huge toss. Clearly an attack that very few superstars can perform with such ease. We all know RVD loves to pick up the pace in his matches, loves to really get things going for that high-risk style he's so well known for. Oh, that's right, Cole. So obviously, if you're facing off against him, the smartest thing you can do is slow down the pace and break him down. Don't wrestle RVD's match, because it's a match he has absolutely perfected. Bam! Down he goes. Reigns, ready to strike! 
Oh, look out. It's on now. Ooh. Slugging away with everything they've got. Looks like a hockey fight just broken up. Toe to toe, treating each other like heavy bags. Who will break first? That is the question. What impressive determination from both competitors. Keeping at each other no matter what. No mess, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Couldn't quite slam the door yet. Nice counter from Van Dam. <laughs> Hurricane. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, RVD with a very efficient vaulting plancha. Incredible. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. <laughs> Landing on top of the skull. <laughs> Counters right into the swift chop block. Into the ring now. Oh my God! Does that finish Van Dam off? A snap man by Roman Reigns. Fires it up with a boot right to the face. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. A spin kick. Heading up, he's thinking back. can keep Reigns down. The big dog will not quit. And Rob's not one to get too frustrated, but you have to think the sense of urgency is starting to kick in. Uh-oh. Ah, oh, flipping the script on him there. Into the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. From Roman Reigns. Bang! <laughs> Moves outside. What's the plan here? Into a power bomb. Just from a dead lift position. Sit out power bomb from the big guy. Swanton finds the mark. German suplex. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. Competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Big boot to the guts. Big forearm. Oh, anus knee to the face. And Van Dam still managing to dish out more damage. I think RVD's forming a plan to end this conflict soon. Just carrying the opposition anywhere they want. Positioning their opponent. Looks like a neck breaker. Oh, forward to the back. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Trailer pile driver, Mike. He could pin his opponent right here. It's over. It's over. Brutality finally comes to an end.
Here is your winner, Rob Van Dam. And Reigns faces the agony of defeat. Reigns became the prey tonight and could not survive this battle. This conflict turned into a dire situation for Reigns and there was no recovery. Caden Carter and Katana Chance, the Warriors of NXT. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, the team of Katana Chance and Caden Carter. The longest reigning NXT Women's Tag Team Champions in history. Hey, they dance as good as they wrestle. Go, Caden. Go, Caden. Byron, I'm a much better dancer. You know I've won many dance contests. There is a chill in the air. The arrival of the bewitching duo of fire and their dolls. The team of Isla Dunn and Alba Fire. Fire and Dawn, not a team you want to cross. Have no problem cursing the competition like actually casting curses. Yeah, you know, Cole, I heard Saxton actually had a full head of hair before he met Alba and Isla. Hey, I still do. A lot of it. The Scottish Sorceress is ready for action. They are enchanting, they are sinister, and they are downright dangerous. The diabolical entity of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn rose to infamy during their annihilation of NXT, which only intensified their desire to cause widespread agony and suffering. The devastation of their cryptic powers is realized when they combine their strength to isolate an opponent and destroy them with brutal double-team attacks. Going up against Fire and Dawn can lead to a treacherous outcome for opponents. Well, they're standing across the ring from a team that's already gotten the party started. Caden Carter and Katana Chance. Flips and tricks, here we come. That's kind of an understatement, Corey. John dropping offense, tandem moves we've never seen before. That's what Carter and Chance are all about. They love to have fun in and out of the ring, and we're about to witness that yet again. A running Hurricane Rana. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Oh, a step up in Zagari. 
Oh, round and round we go. Tilt the world head scissors. Uh oh. What a hurricanrana. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Drop. She got her down. Is this it? She overcomes the pinfall attempt. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. And she's stunned in the corner. Got her where she wants her. Ah, oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Hard to grab or apply a proper hold after a move like that. Able to reverse that one. Oh, ouch. Reversal from Katana. That's a tag. tag made here. What do these two have in mind? Uh-oh. There it is, the old bumperoo. They finish each other's sentences. They finish each other's moves. That's tag team excellence right there, gentlemen. Reverse DDT. And here we go now. Elbow drop to the knee. Taking off from the ropes. That assault halting Alba in her tracks. Yeah, this is exactly why constant, frequent tags are so important in a match like this. To keep fresh. Oh, man. Looks like her opponent's not going to need a chiropractor. Oh, wicked cover. Fends off the three count. No celebrations yet. Tagged in. What a kick. She adjusts it and reverses it. Alba fire the glory bar. Placing them right where they want them into the corner. Knife edge chop. A quick response to fire's offense. And they fail to hit the mark. And she'll make the tag. <laughs> oh, man, what a strike. No oh, shoulder to the gut. Just using their foot as a weapon. So ruthless. Ruthless, boot to the mush, effective way to counter any attack. And full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Tag is made, tandem offense on its way. From the very top row, no, even higher. From their partner's shoulders, crashing down hard with a senton. Katana may have put the exclamation on this one. And there's the save. She sent flying into the corner. Ooh, great counter. A counter answered by another counter. There's a crucifix. Nicely done. There's two. Shoulder up, shoulder up. Really had less than a second to stay alive there. Hurricanrana. Don perhaps lost a bit of her focus there. Rolls through, super kick. Tag is good. Tag made, tandem offense incoming. Set off the ropes, trip, drop kick, followed by a tope, a tomico. Ooh, what a forearm club. <laughs> Drop kick hits hard, lands harder. Oh! A little 
cockiness here from Dunn. Jumping clothesline! What agility! Able to get there in time. Ooh. Oh, clothesline. Shoulders down. Could she finally put this away? Two great superstars that go great together, and that win is proof. The party's over, and their music isn't playing. Chance and Carter just not able to get it done tonight. What a tremendous athlete, Bianca Belair. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring from Knoxville, Tennessee, Bianca Belair. WWE Universe, you are looking at a superstar who is simply blessed to be the best. Just naturally better than everybody else, even when only doing the bare minimum. Well, you talk about some of that natural athletic talent, Corey. Bianca's been exceptional her entire life. She earned All-American honors in track and field. And if you just ask her, she'll tell you why she's better than everybody else. Gentlemen, get ready for some chaos. And from Glasgow, Scotland, Nikki Cross. The superhero's flown the coop. Nikki's now somehow even more unhinged than before. Did you know that Nikki has a master's degree in history? Wait, wait, what? That is mind-blowing. Since Nikki looks like she can't remember what happened five minutes ago, much less 500 years ago. Nikki Cross certainly doesn't wait for the bell to fire off offense. Not exactly someone you want to run into in a dark alley, let alone the ring. Cross operates on a completely different level. I don't know what it's called, but I know it's different. Nikki's unbridled spirit allows her to tear through her opponents. It's become her thing in an odd, twisted way. And she's going to have to deal with one of the hottest young superstars in the WWE, Bianca Belair. An absolutely dominant collegiate athlete. Bianca has the power, agility, and athleticism to be one of the best the WWE has ever seen. I expect she's going to use every opportunity she can to prove that. She's going up! 
Top rope here. Taking flight. Oh Look out below. Just crashing down with high impact. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Look at these debilitating forearm strikes. Taking it on the mouth. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. This is the true clash of styles. The frantic, unorthodox style of Nikki Cross versus the explosive athleticism of Bianca Belair. Nikki Cross is unhinged in every way. Bianca needs to maintain her focus and contain Cross's unusual assaults. That's easier said than done. Bianca Belair may fancy herself the EST, but she's got to stay aggressive if she wants to survive a battle like this. Into a neckbreaker. That might be it. She kicks out in one. Easy kick out there, but they'll get harder soon. Ducking out of trouble. is maintaining the advantage now. Bianca here in a disheartening position. Going Reach. up to the top. What are we going to see here? Dragon sleeper locked in. Oh, my oh. God. Uh-oh. Goodness, a bulldog. Great counter there. Big time spot. Can she do it here? Just after two. If she keeps the pressure on, the next one might do it. Ross able to avert that. and take it right to Nikki there. Good maneuver there by the EST. She's on unsteady legs in the corner, needs to recover. And Cross gets stonewalled. Well, that changed. Made her pay for her mistake. Reversal after reversal, proving they did their homework. Cracked around to a neck breaker. Oh, man. Devastating kick. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh, this could be it. Cover. Powering out at one. It's not over yet. Plenty left to go in this one. Kick to the spine. Just breaking down the opponent. What a barrage of stuff. Maybe not, maybe not. She was close to the end there. That was a long two count there. Uh-oh. Great reaction from Belair. And all the way to the outside. And that attack further tested Nikki's stamina. Yeah, the impressive athleticism of Bianca was in full effect there. Neckbreaker. Ouch. Not target of the arm. Looking for more damage here. Ah, at least back suplex. <laughs> oh, man. Face buster. And Nikki Cross is on the downside of things. Bianca's keeping the pressure on. The confident Bel Air not backing down here. Fends 
Sends off the attack with an elbow. Say goodnight. K.O.D. Kiss of death. Will Belair close this out? Cover. Kick out. Thought that was the end of her. Nikki was almost down for the count. Almost about to beat defeat. Belair has to be contemplating her next step now. If that was her plan A, she needs to move to plan B. Nikki finally finding an answer to that onslaught. That could be the trigger for Nikki to battle her way back into this. We're witnessing a tremendous battle between Cross and Bel Air. Both women are pushing each other to the limit and not worrying about consequences. Oh, drop right across the net. And this has got to be it. Shoulder shoots up before two. Where is she finding the strength? This is unreal. Cross taking hold. Does that finish Bianca off? So does that. Nikki Cross wins! Here is your winner, Nikki Cross! What a win by the unhinged Nikki Cross. Nikki Cross emerges victorious in her battle against the EST. The most extravagant, flamboyant, and tastiest team in all of WWE. Pretty Deadly has arrived. Say it with me, gentlemen. Yes, boy. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 357 pounds, the NXT UK Tag Team Champions, Elton Prince and Kid Wilson, pretty deadly. Dominated the NXT UK and NXT tag divisions as soon as they arrived. These two have a certain style and a je ne sais quoi opponents just lack. Proof that looks can be deceiving. Oh, come on, Cole. Don't judge a book by its gorgeous cover. You try, Cole. Yes, boy. Come on, Cole. Please. Don't say it, Michael. Don't say it. The Brothers of Destruction. Destruction! 
The Brothers of Destruction have more than lived up to their name. Multiple tag team titles, multiple world champions individually for Kane and The Undertaker. The only thing scarier than these two clashing is these two teaming. Both of these monsters, former WWE champions, have held multiple tag team titles together. And perhaps the most powerful duo in WWE history. Classy, posh, debonair, I could go on. Show some respect for pretty deadly, ladies and gentlemen. Kent Wilson, Elk Prince, two young men from across the pond who consider themselves a class above the rest of their peers. Honestly, they're both imbeciles most of the time, but even I can't deny how talented they are in the ring when they're not making fools of themselves, that is. And staring them down from across the ring are Undertaker and Kane, the brothers of destruction. I don't know how you prepare mentally for Satan's favorite siblings. I don't know how... And he goes for the pin. Shoulder up before two. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Elton creates an opening for himself. Good golly, Miss Molly. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. He turns it around. Back and forth, back and forth, looking for the advantage here. Boom, did you hear the impact? Honing in on the arm. Gets tagged in. He went right into that turnbuckle. Series of reversals. Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. And he just hammered away with the rights. Now, this is just a ruthless attack. Oh, such aggression. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Well-scattered reversal there. Mistake made by Wilson. He's got him locked. DDT! Undertaker cuts him off. Returning fire. Looking wobbly in the corner. Oh, over and over, knees in the corner. Knees to the gut repeatedly. <laughs> Saw that one coming, took advantage. Look at this, going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. You can see the intent behind that attack. Exploiting the arm must be the strategy here. And that prevents Undertaker's attack. Ooh. Return fire from the Undertaker. Strikes with a kick. And Kit's struggling a bit. Yeah, as The Undertaker once again impresses with his particular brand of athleticism. Oh, back elbow. Oh, God. Tagging his partner in now. Oh, strong impact. And he's able to reverse. 
Another reversal. Eye for an eye here. Crank in the head with the counter. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Measured kick to the vertebrae. Ah, oh, right to the back. In off the tag. Setting it up. Boom! He catches Kane with a counter. Into the cover! Strong kick out there. I can't believe the ref didn't get two here. Caught with a DDT! And the Brothers of Destruction getting a taste of their own medicine there. Kit held nothing back on that attack. Tag is made, and here we go. The Undertaker with the cinch. He could pin his opponent right here. And he stops the count for his partner. Undertaker is going up top. Look out. Reversal by The Undertaker. He's been placed in the corner now. Torturous focus on the leg, punishing the leg. Oh, he knew what was coming. Oof, that can knock you out. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. Here he comes off the tag. And it's reverse pain for that mistake. to avoid there. The Undertaker looking to finish this now. Rest in peace. The Undertaker just ended this. Referee breaks the count. Looks like a rope break. Double team. Oh, a gut buster. Cover. Two. No, he gets the shoulder up. How? How? He made it. Tag made. Here's an opening on Kane. Spine buster. Could Kane rise back up? Makes the cover. Kick out. I thought it was finished off for sure. There's still fire in the lungs of Kane. Wait, wait, wait. Shoulders down. And the victory. Here are your winners. The Undertaker and Kane, the brothers of destruction. And Kane helps lead the team to victory. Put that match in a museum or a textbook so future teams can study to learn this craft.
the seven foot three Nigerian giant, ready to steamroll the competition. They say seeing is believing, but seeing Omos is still unbelievable. The following is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Lagos, Nigeria, weighing in at 400 pounds, the Nigerian giant, Omos. The size of Omos must be seen to be believed. Looms over the entire ring and the locker room for that matter. Omos is just as powerful as he is towering. Right about that one, Saxton. Omos truly is one guy you don't, under any circumstance, ever want to mess with. Towers over the entire locker room, both literally and figuratively. Who in the world can take down this Colossus known as Omas. Ah, here we go. Briggs is all about driving trucks and kicking butts. That is opponents. First, from Bullhead City, Arizona, weighing in at 268 pounds, Josh. Briggs. The rough and tumble bruiser. Briggs is a tremendous talent. And he's a tremendous human. Look at the size of him. As tough as they make him, Briggs is not a man who minces words. The only thing bigger than his mean streak is his heart. He puts his friends before himself, sometimes to a fault. A competitor who does not know the meaning of the word quit. He is ready for battle. Oh, no. Here we go again. Oh, yes. Pat McAfee is here. And from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 233 pounds, Pat McAfee. Pro football legend turned podcaster, commentator, and now a WWE competitor. As unique a path to superstardom as we've ever seen. Or as annoying as he has to do commentary with, I'll admit, he's fun to watch compete. Doing it all for the brand. Going to feed off the energy in this matchup. And plans to shock the world once again. Always need to be on your toes whenever you face off against multiple combatants, and that will be especially true in this triple threat match. All set for competition, and in this one, it'll be Omos, Josh Briggs, and Pat McAfee. All three superstars will have to keep their head on the swivel. Caught with a lariat. Oh, what a forearm. Stiff kick. Counters with an attack on Omos. Oh, he retaliates. How did Scouted. Driven down face first. Take down. Oh, caught by the back elbow. Fought off with an elbow. Uh, gripping the jaw, my goodness, that's insulting. Showing absolutely no mercy at all. What an onslaught. Cuts off their offense with a swift elbow to the gut. 
Gonna be Uzi after. Uh oh, he could be looking for a submission here. Oh my God. Oh, and he's able to find enough grip to fight out of the hold. Crucial escape here. And what a maneuver we just saw there. What's coming next? Taking their time. Ah, oh, punch to the gut. I'll take the wind right out of you. Saw that coming. What a close line. Shades of the OEC dub. The kendo stick is introduced to the proceedings. And Omas capitalizes there. position to be in right now. Right across the larynx. He's got him down. Is this it? He's able to kick out before two. He's still in this. Oh, what a strike to the back. Great job anticipating Briggs. Toss back into the ring. Some intimidation tactics from Josh Briggs. Oh, suicide dive! <laughs> Rip Record into the lariat. Running Hurricane Rana. Fantastic. Acrobatics like that take a tremendous amount of cardio and strength. And he tosses it back in now. Kick to the gut. Oh, what a right! McAvey taking the upper hand in a big way. Omos has to weather a storm here. Oh, gripping the jaw. My goodness. That's insulting. Practically never-ending blows. Coming at full force here. Briggs felt that coming. And he's able to counter. Pat, you're confusing your sports. You're not in Indianapolis anymore. McAfee feeling confident, feeling like he has this in the bag. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Talk about dismantling your opponent. And he breaks up the pinfall. Ooh. A loving blow to the chest. Able to get the advantage here. Fishing for something beneath the ring. It's like I always say, he who has the sledgehammer has the last laugh. display of gut. The pin and the win! Yes! Kick out! Kick out! He kicked out! How in the world did he do that? That'll ring your bell. What a poop! And guys, now I see
see blood on the face of Omos. Compromised position here. of Briggs clearly through the roof. The adrenaline is pumping, and the WWE Universe is on his side. He's starting to struggle here. After lasting this long in a triple threat, it'd be a shame to take a nosedive now. Oh, no. Lining it up. Connects the fist to the face. Great counter. The roar of this crowd has been building, and they are at a fever pitch right now. You can feel the anticipation growing with every second that ticks past in this match. And back if he gets countered there. Vicious right forearm. Omos with a vice-like grip on his opponent. Oh, having his way with his opponent. Makes a cover. Omos got it. Can he end it? Oh, he kicked out. You gotta be kidding me. Surviving that maneuver is absolutely Absolutely amazing. But Omas can't let his opponent recover here if he wants to maintain his advantage. Vicious, downright savage club right there. Bam! Down he goes. Vicious headbutt. Forearm club. Oh, nasty elbow. Another one. Endless attack here. Does he have it here? He kicks out in two. You got a question. How much is it worth? How much is it worth to continue through the agony? It's obviously worth everything. Obviously worth every drop of sweat on the ground. Shifts it back onto him. That's got to dig deep now. What a triple threat. Here is your winner, Josh Briggs. As exciting a triple threat match as we've had here in WWE in recent memory. This is the kind of action you get when you put three hungry competitors in a match against one another, forcing them to battle for supremacy. The bruiser of the brawling brutes. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the brawling brutes from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. Bush! A master of joint manipulation and technical savagery. You know the old saying, Cole, you can't judge a book by its mangy cover. Butch looks ready to unleash on the competition in ways never seen before.
Shane O'Mac at NXT. <laughs> and his opponent from New York City, weighing in at 235 pounds, Shane He has made an in-ring career out of doing things a man with his upbringing usually doesn't do. He clearly has a few screws loose, but it's paid off for him. He's literally the best in the world. And this Butch sure is an interesting character, wouldn't you say? You know, there was a time when Butch was about as methodical a superstar as you'd ever see. But now he's just all aggression. The man is a dog off his leash, and frankly, I fear for your safety and mine. The Kimura, oh, the Kimura! Kimura lock a clock. He yeah. doesn't have much time before his arm snaps. Great job fighting out. Caught with the boot. Both arms captured, and vitriolic stops. Stop after stop. Relentless. Placing them into the corner. Butch now going to the top. From way up. What? Trying to do as much damage as humanly possible. But at what cost? to avert that. Uh-oh. Able to avoid any harm there. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Oh, look at this. That was worse than being hit by a cinder block. He is delivering elbow after elbow. The ref still counting, might be a count out. He deflects it right back. Uh oh. Half and half suplex, lights out. Butch loves to just attack his opponents at full speed, but the key to victory can't be that simple, can it? Butch used to be extremely deliberate in his strategy, Cole, but now he throws himself full force at his opponent. But that old methodical style is still dormant within Butch, so he should use it. Put it in a position now. Oh, put down face first. Power bomb dropped down. That power bomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Now Butch has one thing in mind. Oh, Shane McMahon manages the counter. Guys, truly, I need to know, when will enough be enough? When is this going to end? They truly want to rip each other apart. I think you just answered your own question. This doesn't end until they rip each other apart. Nice takedown. Could be looking for the triangle. Got to pass the arm. He needs to break this submission, and the left hands will do it. Uh-oh. Suplex, we got a cover. Oh, the referee was about to help the winner celebrate. They wouldn't have none of that. Hey, good on him for being ready. Fending off the attackers. What is it you always say, Graves? Gotta have eyes in the back of your head. At all times, this is exactly why.
symphony can only mean one thing. It is time for Seth freaking Rollins. Listen to the WWE Universe. They're singing along, and they're not done yet. The following champion versus champion contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, the NXT Champion, Seth Freakin' Rollins! A storied career, Rollins has held every singles and tag team title of note in WWE. The first ever NXT Champion, the first man to hold the newly minted World Heavyweight Championship. Rollins is one of the most complete competitors this industry has ever seen and is a cornerstone in WWE. You want to prove yourself? Test the visionary. The WWE Universe just exploded! electricity in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt in quite some time. This match is going to be good. He is about to face what some call the gatekeeper of this industry. Well, anyone who thinks they're any good has to prove it first against Seth freaking Rollins. Here's a superstar that has been making waves for weeks now, and that's why he's facing off against the champ here tonight. Well, you gotta respect the foresight. He took a non-title match because he knows that he has what it takes, and he's looking to prove it. Yeah, Corey, title or not, this is going to be a barn burner for sure. And we'll see if he's ready for the visionary, Seth freaking Rollins. Well, whatever Seth wants to be called these days, Corey, one thing does not change. Rollins has always been a dangerous opponent. At Seth's core, he is still as dangerous as ever, possibly even more so. Capped off with a knee to the spine. Brutal stomp to the body. And just getting started, look at this brutality. This is how you torture your opponent. Oh my God, this is hard to watch. Love him or hate him, Seth freaking Rollins is arguably one of the best in-ring competitors in all of WWE today. Considering his skill level and the many accolades he's accumulated, Corey, I have to ask, how do you prepare for a super... Take down, put it the cross face, it cinched him. They're gonna free the arm and does just that. And oh my god, what a fall! That's a jump. Into the corner, this can't be good. Big reversal by Rollins. He was elusive there. And Rollins looked to step behind. Just disrespectful. A shot like that to the ego could really shake you up mentally. German suplex release! Hoist it up. Gut buster. Oh, no. Uh, stop right to the gut.
Oh, Red right in there. Rollins just a step too slow. Rollins got out of the way. Oh, that'll leave a mark. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Getting tossed around. And will this be it? No, a kick out. Staying in this one. And this one might be headed ringside. Just one step ahead. DDT. He is just reeling from that offense. Seth with an absolutely predatory attack there. Neckbreaker position, but look at this power prying their way out. And a neckbreaker counter. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. And now gets tossed into the ring. Rollins lining it up. No stop. Tried to stop and got hit by an RKO. <laughs> Rollins with a reversal. Single underhook. Face buster. Off into the pin. Seth Rollins with quite the win here tonight. When you're Seth freaking Rollins, you expect a certain amount of success like this. All in a day's work for the visionary. Well, the great one has arrived. It's check-in time at the SmackDown Hotel. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Miami, Florida. Weighing in at 275 pounds. The Rock! You know, we always say you never know who's going to show up inside the NXT arena. But I don't think anyone expected this man. Think of all the members of The Rock's family that have competed in the hallow halls of NXT. From the Usos to Roman Reigns, now The Rock himself stepping foot inside the NXT ring. You can't want to test the rattlesnake's venom. 
That'll basically be a death sentence for your tenure in this match. When did they start allowing rattlesnakes in the Hall of Fame, Cole? I'm looking at the toughest SOB in WWE history. That is a point from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, Stone Cold Steve Austin. This man has an incredible resilience that can't be undersold. Some would call it stubbornness, but it works for Stone Cold. Austin never backs down from a fight, and he is in for one here tonight. Now we know that The Rock has no problem running his mouth about his opponents in the lead up to his matches, but we can't forget that if there's any superstar who knows how to hold his own when that bell rings, it's The Rock. Without a doubt, Cole, people sometimes get so caught up in The Rock's way with words that they forget just how athletic and smart this man is in the ring, and that's how he gets you. He definitely knows how to keep his opponents focused on the wrong aspect of his rather stellar game when the bell rings. But he's facing the one and only Stone Cold Steve Austin, a true badass who treats every match like it's a grudge match. Austin also never lets up once he decides he wants something. He is just absolutely relentless inside the ring. Like a and here's a cover. And a rock kicks out. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. He knows how to avoid contact. The Texas Rattlesnake's humming now. Yeah, Stone Cold just bludgeoning The Rock. And he sends him into the corner. Great counter. Austin is going to look to press on the advantage. Austin trying to bring the fight back in this one. A match of this caliber is almost like determining the king of the jungle. He thinks he has it. And he breaks the count quickly. Loose cover leads to a strong kick out. Ooh. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Oh my God. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Stone Cold avoids the attack. An arm wrench. Boom! DDT! Now it's Austin getting striked down without any warning. Almost mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Veteran instincts from Austin. Oh man! A million dollar drop. Million dollar dream rolled out of it! Great escape. Overhead, belly to belly by the great one. What a barrage of stops. You want to control the tempo, you want to dictate the pace. That right there is how you do it. Running knee. Great reversal. Coming. Crash landing. Power bomb. He may be in a bad way here. That's the roughneck approach we've come to expect from the rattlesnake. And we've seen how this rivalry has escalated to the point that no one involved cares about the collateral damage they've caused. 
Hell, Michael, they don't even care about their own well-being. They just want Austin with Stone! Stone Cold with a stunner! The Rock just got checked in! Cover! Oh, he was almost finished! What heart, what resilience we are seeing from The Rock! This one is not over! Austin has played by so many opponents like this before, but tonight is going to be a tougher battle for the Rattlesnake. Down on the wind point. And there's the cover! No, stops the count at two. How in the world did he kick out? Strike! Just ruthless. Rock about to lay it to SmackDown on Austin. Uh oh. About to hit. Right by the people's chair. The Rock has this wrapped up. Two. Near fall. Unbelievable tenacity on display from Stone Cold. Austin simply refuses to quit. It isn't over yet. The Rock has to find a way to persevere right now if he wants to end this. And Stone Cold can't find a way off the blocks. Serious intensity from The Rock as he drives Austin back. Oh, ooh, what a knee lift. Somebody better check his nose. What's going to happen here? There's a setup for the backbreaker. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Austin's been absorbing punishment and dishing it out in kind. Austin's been taken to the limit but has a bottomless amount of toughness. Ouch. Austin gets stymied. Reigns down an elbow in retaliation. And full control here, face first. Big hammer connects. Oh, God. Austin applying the pressure. And this match is all Austin now. Texas Hello for you in a final stomp. and building up speed. Oh, that should do it right there. That was an incredible victory. I agree with you. Looks to me like the wheels were spinning. Not finished just oh, yet. My, a oh, ladder. No. Really, a ladder? You've already won the match. Put the put it down. Go. Shot. Oh, she never saw it coming. Completely ambushed by this superstar. And guys, there is no way she's going to be able to compete now. Well, the referee going to ask her if she's ready to go. And oh, I can't believe that we're going to go forward with this match. No this way. Is nuts. This is nuts. 
I believe the attacker was probably a bit worried about this match, hence the sneak attack. We got to respect the determination of this competitor, despite that sneak attack, still willing to compete. They're brave, even if they are dumb. This match is off to a rocky start after some blows were exchanged before the bell. But now these superstars look ready for even more action. And you know what? I respect the decision to still go through with this match after an attack like that. I'm not sure whether I think they're brave or foolish, but it does take guts. That's mounted with punches and not and a Oof. stomp to the gut, too. <laughs> oh, right across the solar plexus. To the face. Lock it in, the dragon sleeper. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left. Uh-oh. Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. Oh, what a maneuver. She could do it here. Fending off a two count there. Impressive to not even allow a two count at this juncture. Yeah. Oh! She says, no thanks. Heads out of the ring, what's next? Lock it in, the Dragon Sleeper! Man. Showing the world just how much fight she's got left! Oh no! Someone caught you with the dumbest! Charlotte is such a deliberate, methodical superstar. Loves to break opponents down and soften them up on her path to victory. How do you counteract an in-ring competitor like Charlotte? Stick and move, Cole. Stick and move. She can't break you down if she can't attack you. Speed and agility are the keys to taking on someone like Charlotte. Taking this to the floor. And now she delivers her back into the ring. Charlotte Flair muscling her opponent into position. And into a butt cover. And she kicks out at two. She is still fighting, still keeping this going. Turning the tables there. Uses the edge of the knee. Hooked up. Now oh, look at the power. Side slam. Lock. Able to counter. Look at fighting out from the opposition. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Reversal on top of reversal. Bam! Right there. Charlotte showed that picture perfect comment. He got the shoulders down. some serious adversity and still coming out on top. This is a well-earned win, no question there. Toughness was on display in this one. Winning this match took exceptional fortitude. Yeah, they got dealt a tough hand and really took a beating, but they...